Welcome, tech enthusiasts, to another exciting journey through the world of artificial intelligence. Today, we're delving into a captivating topic, the seven stages of AI. From simple rule-based systems to the realm of self-awareness, we'll explore the evolution of AI capabilities in this adventure. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all things tech. We kick things off with stage one, reactive machines. These were the earliest AI systems, like IBM's Deep Thought, designed for specific tasks. They made decisions based on predefined rules without the ability to learn from data or adapt. They played chess, but they didn't learn from their opponents. Reactive machines don't interact with the world, so they respond to identical situations in the same ways every time those scenarios are encountered. Moving on to stage two, limited memory. Limited memory consists of machine learning models that extract knowledge from previously learned information, facts, stored data, or events. As distinct from reactive machines, limited memory is able to learn from the past by analyzing actions or data given to them with the purpose of building probationary knowledge. This type of AI is employed by virtual voice assistants, chatbots, self-driving cars, and several other technologies. Autonomous vehicles, also known as self-driving cars, use limited memory technology that relies on a combination of observationally gathered and integrated knowledge. Their ability to drive and function adequately among human-reliant vehicles comes from analyzing their environment, detecting patterns or alterations in external factors, and adapting as required. Stage 3 takes us into the realm of science fiction, theory of mind. In this theoretical stage, AI would understand human emotions, beliefs, and intentions, almost like they have their own minds. Theory of mind AI is not commercially available yet. AI research teams are still researching about it. The human mind understands the emotions and motives of other people or animals. This is called the theory of mind. AI researchers are trying to build a theory of mind AI, where AI systems will have this human capability. Theory of mind AI systems will understand our emotions and motives. Subsequently, such systems will change their approach to their work based on this understanding. That would enable theory of mind AI systems to work collaboratively with human beings. Imagine AI that anticipates your needs. Now, let's ponder stage 4, self-aware AI. In this hypothetical stage, AI possesses self-awareness and consciousness. Machines will have the capacity to be aware of others' emotions and mental states, as well as their own. At this point, machines will have the same human-level consciousness and human intelligence. The quest for self-aware AI is the stuff of philosophical debates. Back to reality with Stage 5, Artificial Narrow Intelligence, ANI. This is the AI we have today. Artificial narrow intelligence systems are programmed to attend one task at a time by pulling in information from a specific dataset. In other words, such systems do not go beyond the assigned tasks. They're fantastic at specific tasks like virtual assistants, recommendation algorithms, and chatbots. But they lack the big picture understanding. Now, the AI we're all eager to see. Stage 6, Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, refers to a type of artificial intelligence that possesses the ability to understand, learn, and apply knowledge in a manner similar to human intelligence. AGI systems are not limited to specific tasks or domains but have the capacity to generalize their intelligence across a wide range of tasks, much like how humans can adapt and learn new things. Finally, Stage 7, Artificial Superintelligence, AC. Artificial superintelligence ASI, is a hypothetical level of artificial intelligence that surpasses human intelligence in every aspect. It represents a form of artificial intelligence that would have the capacity to outperform humans in virtually all cognitive tasks, including problem-solving, decision-making, creativity, and general intelligence. Artificial superintelligence would possess not only the ability to understand and process vast amounts of information but also to improve its own capabilities, leading to exponential increases in intelligence. As we wrap up this whirlwind tour of the seven stages of AI, it's essential to remember that while the first five stages represent our progress, transitioning from artificial narrow intelligence to artificial general intelligence and beyond remains uncertain. 
Achieving self-aware AI or superintelligence poses both exciting possibilities and significant challenges. The future of AI is an open-ended journey. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating exploration of AI's evolution. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more tech adventures. Also, let us know in the comments which stage of AI intrigues you the most. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of technology.